crafters, it's me, Jen Evers, with Quality Crafts. And last night I got inspired by an idea that a friend of mine sent to me, and it comes from Stampington.com. So, it is a really super cool use supplies that you have kind of idea, and it's got a lot of really cool techniques in it. It uses uh, label stickers that you may have laying around and you don't know what to do with. It includes um, shaving cream different kinds of inks. You can also use acrylic paint, which I do to do a little bit of flecking on the end. And um, I want to say thanks to stampington.com and my friend Cher for inspiring me yesterday to create this video. Let's go down to the desk and make these. They're so cool. I have an inexp inexpensive shave cream and then I'm going to use three colors of ink by Stampin' Up. Orchid Opulence, Cool Caribbean and Positively Pink. So let's get started. I've done this before, but never with the, the labels. Well, I'm not going to use my hands. I'm going to use a card. Make it a little more even, hopefully. Okay, and then I'm going to drop in a couple of drops of these. More than a couple because I kind of want to mix it up all the way through. Blue. And a pink. And then I'm going to stir it up. I want it to be kind of wavy, so that's kind of the look I'm going for. Let's see if this works. All right, that looks pretty good. This is the paper. It has a whole bunch of, let's see if I can show you, labels about that wide. Okay, and let's smash it down and see what we get. Uh, and I just remembered the only thing that I don't have is the paper towel to wipe it off with. So I'm going to set this aside and I'll be right back. Okay, before I wipe it off, I am going to drop one more on there so I get a more sporadic color. A little bit more white space. Awesome. Okay, this is the first one. Wow, that came out really vibrant. This is the lighter one.
There's a lot more white space with this one, so this one's going to turn out pretty interesting too. So I set those on a table nearby to dry, and I'm just going to take a couple of baby wipes to clean up the rest of this. And the card I'll just take to the sink and spray off. This is a messy, fun thing to do, and it makes everything smell so good. The next thing I want to add all over this would be different kind of stamps. And so I've picked out just a few. This one is just like a swirly pattern. And then I thought that it would be really fun to put on some of these darker, just background kind of floral stamps. And then in this stamp set, I also have another like swirly and this kind of little funky thing. So I'm just going to stamp these all over the place in kind of a random order. stamping I want to bring back just a little bit of white space so I've used some magnolia white just it's just plain old acrylic paint and mix it with a little bit of water and add a little bit more water here and I'm just gonna um, bang it on the edge of here and get some white spots to drop on hopefully a little bit on every single one I've got my craft mat underneath here always, so that helps um, easy cleanup at the end because, of course, I'm going to miss. But I definitely want these spots to be a little bit bigger and a little bit opaque. I don't want them to be like, I don't want them to just run out and be totally see through. That would kind of defeat the purpose of adding them. Oh, these are all dry now. I'm so excited, you guys. I was playing with this off camera. I couldn't wait. <clears throat> I picked out a, you know, semi-matching background color here. And then I decided to make these into 3x3 three three note cards. So I have a whole bunch of 6x3 uh, uh, card stocks folded in half. But look at how darling this is. Oh, I wish I could get it to, let me move my light source a little bit closer. Oh, so cute. I'll leave, I'll leave pictures at the end, but let's play around with this a little bit more. So I brought in, to go with this now, the white paint has dried, uh, enamel accents in black, some of my little butterflies, <clears throat> excuse me, which are all white, but of course I colored them black. And then I have uh, some of this, which I believe is that 
those those kind of cutout pieces that you can you know ink up and make all different colors but I really like it's dark white so I'm just going to start building some of these while we're on here and what I did was I looked for pieces that had the um the teal because it matched that teal background so well and I want to make them all just a little bit different so here is what I'm going to show you what I'm talking about so see how they just fit on here now I put one of these in the middle and two on the sides and then I just cut off the extra but I'm going to do this one a little bit different so I'm going to stick this one down here okay like that and then I want to add a little bit of let me get this one out of the way since I think it'll be easier to see okay and then I want to add a little bit of this going up I just think this would be so cute. How do I want to do this? Oh, going corner, cor like that. That would be so cute. All right, I'm going to use this little jar of glue here. And I'm going to glue the parts. Like you totally could ink this up. You totally could cut out anything you wanted. Um, use your punches and your dies and all that good stuff. So I'm going to flip this over and glue it down. You grab a scissor. So we'll just cut off the excess here. I am just so excited about these little cards, you guys. They're so cute. I have my scratch paper. And I take these little guys here. And again, I'm using a Spectrum Noir marker that's alcohol-based that will soak through so there won't be any white edges on these little butterflies. And I do flip them over and color both sides, but as you can see there, it did really, really soak through. I'm just so excited about these. They're so cute. All right. <clears throat> I see a part that I missed a little bit. And because they're alcohol-based markers, they dry really fast. So I'm just going to bend this so that all you get just a little bit of glue on that tiny, tiny body there. And I'm going to put him, I think, right there. Because I think he can be seen better there. Push down so that it has a chance to really stick. And then because it's such a tiny little guy, I went ahead and used this. I don't know that you can see. Let me get a close-up here. That ought to work. Okay. I squeeze out a little bit here. And then I just pull and let go. To make it. So that it makes that little tip on the end. It kind of made a little smudge there. But I'm not going to touch it. Because I think that will make it look worse. If I touch it. And then I just bring the wings up a little bit. That is so cute. <clears throat> Alright, and then because I was too impatient to wait, instead of trying to put the um, tape on there, I'm just going to use this glue to glue this background as well. Center it on here, and I did, as you can tell, cut these just slightly smaller than the 3x3 so that there's a little white border going around the edge. I think that just always adds so much. So now look at the difference between these two. Oh, let me back out for you. Cute. So cute. Let's make a couple more. I think I've got three more bases. Okay, I'm going to bring this back in. I wish you guys could, like, shout out. I should have done this live. Because then you could, like, shout out and tell me, you know, how you wanted me to put these on here. So here's another base. Let's see. What kind of one do I want on there? Um, these ones down here just have a lot more teal on them. So I'm going to grab this one. I love how sometimes when I grab these, look at that white. It goes right off the edge. So it makes it look like I actually did these after the fact. I like this one. Let's make this one go up and down. I totally like that one just the way it is. I want to do a little border here. Let 
Let's stamp a sentiment. That'd be cute. Gotta be something small. So let's see my small sentiments here. Oh, peace be with you. That looks really cute. I could use my stamp tool, but I think I'm gonna just I'm gonna just wing this one today. A little bit of Versamark. I'm do it in the middle because I'm not sure if I want to do a tail on this one or not. Okay. Bring out the white embossing powder. Oh, it's perfect. Awesome. the little Fiskars trimmer I have here. Just making sure that I don't cut off that Y. And let's see how it fits on here. Kind of covers up a lot of this and I was hoping that it wouldn't. So let's cut it off here. <clears throat> A little bit further, I think. So it's closer to the P. Oh, not going to fit. What if we turned it this way? I don't like that. Peace be with you. Chop it off a little bit more here. Oh, that's cute. How about like that? Let's go for it. We can even pop this up. <clears throat> I'm non-stick scissors here. And I just need to cut it down a tad. Like always, I put it right here so I can save it and use it another time. And that'll fit on there. I'm just lining it up with the right side here. That is so cute. I really think that maybe I'll do the edges on this one. I think I have my corner trimmer here. Or maybe I don't. Oh, I know. I have a little one here. Let's just do a small corner trim. So this is a quarter of an inch, it says. It makes a really teeny tiny... See that? Just a smidgen. Just barely cuts off that corner. That's cute. All right. Get a little bit of this stuff out of the way. So I can bring in my ATG gun and we'll put this one down on another card. Sometimes when people are going through stuff, just giving them a little card like this just means the world. It just says, you know, I'm thinking about you. You mean something to me. And then they don't feel so all alone. So that's cool. Just love these so much. Let's look at all of them. I gotta be really careful not to touch that black stuff. So let me set these aside. We have two more to make. Two more. Okay, let's bring out a base. Uh, let's see, let's find one. This one right here. Let's go right in the middle. 
so cool when you take them off of there. You never know. They're going to look so neat. I think this time we'll do two. One here. And maybe this one. This one looks cool. Oops. I got a rip. But see how that white stayed there? I'm just going to... Let's make sure that stays. That's cool. We'll put that one this way. Make this one a little bit different, shall we? Awesome. All right, now what do I want to put on here? I think I want to put on another... How about a strip of butterflies? I think I have another strip left up here. Oh, that'd be so cool. Let's do that. Let's color them black, though. I would do it. I think it would be faster if I used my e my e brush air system, except for the fact that um, it doesn't cover as fully. If you get what I'm saying, it just kind of it just doesn't. But I don't have to do the back side because I'm just gonna glue these straight down to here. And then put them right across. So cute. How would that look if we put a little white one on top? Oh my gosh, that'd be so neat. Let's do that. Let's put this on, okay, on top of one of these. See this one because it's kind of in the middle. Just checking to make sure I'm still in frame here. And then lift it up because sometimes it dries and then you can't lift them up. And you don't want the whole wing. You don't want the whole wing down. Oh, that's cute. But like before, I'm going to put this black. Actually, before I put that black on there, I want to add a little bit of glitter, a little bit of shimmer to those wings. I think that would look really neat. I am so glad to be feeling better, you guys. You have no idea. It's been a week. It's been quite a week. <laughs> I had a sore throat, I had a sore headache, I'm sure it's going around, everybody gets something in the summer, right? I'm glad it happened right in the beginning of summer though, because now I feel like I'm free, I'm a free bird for the rest of the summer, hopefully it won't hit me again. So now I'm going to do what I did on the last one, hopefully I won't make such a mess this time, let me wipe this off. Yeah, it's spread out a lot bigger than I wanted it to. I wonder if I could get that off of there with just a paintbrush. A little piece of paper towel. Yeah, that does not... I think maybe just because I put that down, that other stuff down first, I just bled all over the place. So wipe it off with a towel and go in one more time, I think. Yeah. Not quite as skinny as I want it to be. There's always ways to like fix little mistakes. Keep that in mind. When you're doing art, don't freak out. Because most of the time it is handmade. Nobody's going to notice but you. Look at that. Gosh, I just feel like there's not as much light today as there usually is. So sorry that this is not as, maybe as clear as it could be. But let's go ahead and add some glue to the back of this. And glue this one down, and then we got one more to make. That one's really darling. I like that one. 
super cool. Okay, one more. I'll try to use my ESPN. <laughs> I always say that. It's so dumb. ESP. I always just say, I have, do you have ESPN? I don't really like sports. So I don't know if you know that about me. But we got to create one more awesome card. Let's pick something out of here. I want to do this one. Oh, by the way, if you send these, if you stick these in an envelope and mail these to someone, guess what? They totally, totally smell like uh, shaving cream, and it smells so good. I'm just going to pick out a bunch now, and I'm just going to go diagonal like this, which means I'm going to have to cut a couple of them off. But that is okay, because I got a ton of these. I got a whole sheet full, as you can see. So I'm just randomly picking some, making sure that I have some that have that a little bit of teal in it. And then I'm going to cut that off and see how I like it. I might add some, like, on these corners. I'm just not sure yet. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll add some. Let's see. How about this one? If I cut this in half and use the straight edge there. Oh, I could probably do two. Get the straight edge on this one and the straight edge on this side. I could probably do the same for this one too. I think I will. I think I'll do it like from here, because I, if I do the corners, then you won't see that corner as well. I'll round the corners like I did that other one. So let's cut this one off so we can fit it on this side. All right. I wonder if uh, my camera is strong enough to pick up all the tweets outside. My craft room is on the corner of the house, and there's um, an eave across the front by one of the windows, and there's always babies there, you guys, every spring, and you can hear them just tweeting away. So it didn't quite cut off all the blue on the corner, but that's okay. It's mostly covered, and it's very different from the other ones. Now we just have to decide what do we want on there. Do we want another string of black butterflies? Would that be cool? Yeah, I think I'll do them as if they were coming off the top and like flying up like that. That'd be cute. And so here, I just uh, I just got this idea. Let's do this. Let's leave these white. I can always color them black later if I really, really don't like my idea. But let's leave them white. Let's start them off the page like they're fluttering up over here. Okay. Cut this little guy's ends off. And then let's do one black one at the top. Like he got away from the group. And he is the black sheep of the family, so to speak. That one, I'm not sure if I want to pop this one up or not, but I'm going to color both sides just in case. Okay, and he's going to go kind of like around right there. Nope, I think I'm just going to go straight down with him. I don't feel like messing him with him right now. I'm 
There we go. All right. Let's put him down. Cool. Let me bring in the last ones that we made. And then I'll make sure to put photos at the end. I really hope that this inspired you to make some smaller cards and take advantage of all the little tips, techniques, tricks, you know, and all the different supplies you have laying around that you don't use a lot. And, um... Oh, I was going to re-mention where I got these from, but I can't remember. So I'll put that in the intro, and I'll see you guys next video.